Margaret Court Arena, men's singles third round. Please welcome from Portugal, Joao Sousa. <laughs> opponent this afternoon, our eighth seed from Japan, Kei Nishikori. Good afternoon to you. Um, a beautiful afternoon here it is in Melbourne as well on the middle Saturday of the first major of the season. A distinctly Japanese theme to kick off action on the Margaret Court Arena. Of course, Naomi Osaka coming through from a very tight spot down a set and 4-1 a little earlier on today and she passes the baton over now to Kei Nishikori unbeaten of course this year he has made a very fine start to his 2019 season he takes on Jao Sosa today the man from Portugal for the third time yeah both guys having had to put in a fair bit of industry to make their way through to this stage. Both, in fact, have had to go to five sets in each of their first couple of rounds. Very busy out there. Not sure what was bigger, actually. The queue to get in the Melbourne Arena or the queue to the Aperol Spritz Bar. Didn't see you there, though, John Fitzgerald. Were you in that queue? No. <laughs> no. You'd be able to tell very quickly, Nick, if I was there. <laughs> very, very busy on the outside courts today. And, of course, we've had record crowds over the course of week one. I'm Nick Lester, alongside the aforementioned Hi. John Fitzgerald. OK, who is going to make the toss for us? Can we start with the picture facing the photographer over there? Who go in the middle? You don't move. Perfect. Over there for the photo. Perfect. All right. Conditions as usual. We have the challenge available. Make it clear and prompt if you want to challenge. Uh, time between points. We have clocks on the big screen over there and on the side as well. Okay. Uh, any questions? No. no? Uh, a and Z or rod lever? Uh, rod lever. Okay. Go ahead. Perfect. And that's Rod Lever. Uh, Serving. You stay. Have a good match, guys. Thank you, Hugo. Certainly going to be a few baseline battles, you would have thought, in this one, wouldn't you? Well, yes. Um, I mean, uh, Nishikori is one of the great modern players, isn't he? He plays up on the court. You'd expect him to play closer to the baseline than his opponent today. So he's probably more of a clay court. Not specialist at all, but uh, I mean, there's a lot of hard courts in mm. Portugal and Spain. There's no doubt, but a lot of the basic training, so to speak, is is on the clay. You'd expect him to stand a little further back, as most players do, than this man, Nishikori. He's uh, yeah, Joe so, so Yeah, yeah sorry, for, that's okay. So, so, so he, he's look, he's a talented player. I like watching him. He's, he's um, Quick around the court, he's got. Uh, you can tell he's solid from the back of the court. I just, I just like the matchup for Nishikori. Really, if he if he comes back though from or bounces back from his five setter, he has to start favourite here surely. But Susie's a quality player who I, I really enjoy watching. He had a career highlight though. She didn't he winning the Portugal Open? What a moment that was! And Estoril for him winning on home soil. Great scenes that day, of course, at the 250 level. Struggled a bit after that. I would have thought the emotions running through him probably for the, the couple of weeks after that were quite severe. But uh, I love the way he competes, this guy. He's a proper competitor, Sosa, isn't he? Gets out there, puts it on the line. Yeah, he's no shrinking violet either. He, he, he's, got, he's a confident young man, believes in his game, which he has to do, obviously. But as Fitzy was saying, it's going to be a step up today against Nishikori, who is unbeaten, let's not forget, this season, because uh, winning in Brisbane in good style, starting the year in the best possible fashion, beating Daniel Medvedev in the final there, and yes, he's had to battle hard here, but uh, he's full of confidence at the moment. Yeah, look, how good is he for the global game, too, this young man? He's 29 now, it's hard to believe, but being the best Japanese player in history, 
She's got a major in him, Fitzy, or is it too late now? Uh, I, think, I think there's some players around that need a bit of luck, but are not without a chance. He's one of those. You, you know, you, need, you do need a bit of luck. It doesn't help to play a brutal five-setter in the second round, does it? That, that hurts your chances because it has that cumulative effect we talk about moving into the second week. And he's been in an era where we've had three of the best players we've ever seen at one time in the game. 29 years of age now is Nishikori. Got himself in the top 10, of course, last year. Ended at the World Tour Finals. It was a fantastic effort considering where he started, the injuries we know he had. Of course, he didn't even play here last year. Let's not forget that. He wasn't even here, Nishikori, because of the injuries. He started his season playing at the challenger level. There's confirmation of the head-to-head. -head. First meeting in Tokyo. The match didn't finish. Nishikori was injured and they played in clay in Buenos Aires when Nishikori was able to win comfortably. It must have been a disappointing day in Tokyo. Yes. And he True failed to finish. finish. Too true. As you were saying, he's big business over there, isn't he? Well, he's he's a star almost beyond what we know a star is. I think in the West, he, he, I'm sure he can barely walk anywhere. And his time frames would be not just to the hour, they might be to the minute sometimes up there. He'd be so busy. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a global star, but in, in Japan it's a totally different level. One thing's for sure from Nishikuri's perspective, it is a completely different matchup from the one in his previous round where he faced Ivo Karlovic. I mean you could not really get two diametrically opposed players than Sosa and Karlovic in terms of the way they play. Their skill sets are so different, aren't they? Yeah, I think he you know, would feel much more comfortable against the style of player that he's playing against today, rather than the the confusion or the or the one minute unknowns against Karlovic. You know, when you serve that big, and you just don't know if you're going to get many opportunities against a player like that. Here, he'll be able to play his own game and settle in. You think a little quicker. It might end up being more physical, and but, and but, Sousa, but I think deep down he'd be more comfortable and against an opponent like this. Michael Chang in the house alongside uh, Dante Bettini, who, of course, has been in it from the long haul, really. Michael brought on board four or five years ago now. There's his agent there behind him, Oli van Linduk. Does the deals, brokers the deals, as uh, Fitzy was saying, and there's a few of those. Given the prominence Nishikori has. This man's to 44 in the world. Never made the run of 16 here before, as the, the Portuguese. Only made the run of 16, in fact, at a major on one occasion. That was at the US Open last year. Time and a former. Perfect day. Very little wind around. The heat has been taken out of it. It's comfortable out there, really, isn't it, this afternoon? More than comfortable. It's beautiful. I, I was just, I was outside in the what we call the Garden Square here at Melbourne Park, just in the last 20 odd minutes, and, and the temperature is magnificent. It, it's it's a little bright because it's obviously a very sunny day, but but wow, the temperature. It's perfect conditions. No wind, or barely any. You won't feel it inside this stadium much.